so hi guys today we will learn about if else statements okay so what is if else statement suppose you want to find out whether a number is even or odd for example i will initialize x equals to 4 and after that suppose you want to find that whether the value of x is odd or even right so to do that we have to find out the remainder after dividing the value of x with 2 right so for example uh, I just write here remainder and that is equals to x module 2 okay so the value of remainder is 0 for this uh, for x equals to 4 because it is an even number and if it is an odd number then the remainder is 1 right so now we want to program in this way that if the remainder is 0 it will show that it is even and if the remainder is 1 it will show it is odd the number is odd right so to do that we have to write like this if remainder equals to equals to equals to 0 then you have to put a indentation over here that is contains four spaces you can put four space or you can press tab and uh, after that print uh, print even it will print nothing that is because the remainder is one and we put the condition that is remainder equals to equals to zero and that is false uh, you can also say like this uh, let me go down a bit and if this is true the, the syntax like this if the condition is true it will print whatever written inside uh, the if statement okay for example the condition is true and if you run you can see the condition is true is printed but if the condition is false okay so it will not print this statement see this is not printing this uh, statement right so here also the condition is false that's why it is not printing even but if we write like this if the remainder is equals to equals to 1 it will print even that is because the remainder is actually 1 so for example if i write 4 over here okay 4 and then we put the condition remainder equals to equals to 1 it will not print even okay actually it should be odd yeah so it will not print odd so put two conditions you can put like this you have to get out from this indentation and press the backspace key and after that put another condition that is if remainder uh, equals to equals to zero then print even and now if you run this code you can see it printed even that means this condition is true that's why it is printing even but this condition is false that's why it is not printing odd and remember every time you have to put a clone after the condition otherwise it will not run suppose i remove this clone and if i run this code it will show the invalid syntax because we have to put a colon after the condition now if you run it will run perfectly now over here we put the condition two times but uh, that is not required if there is only two condition or multiple condition we will see that later so in this case you can just put over here else that will also run because if the condition is false it will run the else statement so if i run it printed even but suppose there is another statement uh, print num number suppose it will print the number as well so for example i write over here x equals to 3 and see it printed odd and number both the statement that is because we didn't put any kind of indentation before this print we have to put a indentation before this print so that it will uh, be in the else statement otherwise it will it is not into this if else statement it is totally outside of the if else statement that's why it printed no matter whether this is there or not if i remove this over here and again if i run it will print number because this is totally outside of the 
if else statement and let me paste it that code again yeah so and the second thing is nested if else statement that means inside the if statement there is another if statement for example if remainder equals to equals to one print odd and after that there is another condition that is suppose if a uh, remainder is less than 10 it will print small otherwise it will print large okay so if you run this code you can see it printed odd and small both because it first check this condition and in this case it is true that's why it goes into this if statement and after that it printed the odd and they, then again it find another condition then it check for it and since it is true it print this small statement but since it is true it is not checking the else statement and it will not print the large and similarly it will not check the else statement it is not printing the event and after the if else statement it print this number word right so it is over here so in this way you can use the if else statement and nested if else statement so this is called the nested if else statement and there is another thing that is l if suppose there are more than two conditions so in that case you can use the nested if else statement for example i'll just go over here and i'll delete this thing and for example there is a variable name a that is equals to one okay so i can write like this if a equals to equals to one it will print uh a sorry a is equals to one and let me copy this thing and suppose there are four more conditions so for that you have to paste this again and again right and let me change the other conditions as well if uh, a equals to two it will print a is equals to two if a if the condition is a equals to 3 it will print a equals to 3 and the last one is a equals to 4 it will print a equals to equals to 4 right so and if i run this cell and this cell it will print a is equals to 1 that is true obviously if i change a equals to 3 and run this cell again it will print a is equals to 3 but it is actually checking every condition and that makes the compilation slow so to get rid of that we will use the elif condition so elif actually if i put over here l if and last one yep yeah. and if i run this code again it also print properly actually it is checking until the condition is true that means here a equals to 3 so first of all it checks the first condition that is a equals to equals to 1 it find out that it is false and after that it checks the second condition it find out it is false as well and after that it checks the third condition and it find out it is true and it run this code inside that elif statement after that it will not check other conditions that means it will check until the condition is true for example if i write over here a equals to 2 it will print a is equals to 2 that means it is checking only two condition it is not checking the all of the conditions and similarly if you write a equals to 5 it printed nothing so to suppose uh, there are only four condition and if the user put uh, a random number in that case if all of the four condition is false you can just write over here else print wrong choice and then i will just rerun this cells and it will print wrong choice so in this way you can use the if else statement nested if else statement and if elif else statement okay